Yo, what's going on guys? Evan Sadaka here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm doing I rate and improve your guys' team, episode 14. If you guys are new to this series, basically what I do is you guys send me your team on Twitter at Evan Tanaka 10. And basically, I look at your team, give it a rating out of 10. It could be a 6, a 7, an 8, a 9, a 10. And I give you guys improvements and suggestions for players to upgrade on your squad to make your team a lot, lot better. If you guys want to be in the future, in one of these future videos, send me your team and how much MT you have on Twitter at Evan Tanaka 10, and you'll be featured in one of the new videos. If you guys are new here, I am on the road to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year i'd really appreciate if you could subscribe down below i post two to three of my team videos every single day and give some of the best no money spending content and tips and tricks on the platform without further ado let's get on to the video first team we got here is from oopsie davy oopsie daisy tv and he sent me his team on twitter and he didn't say how much MT he has, but in the top right, he's got 25k MT. So that's what we're going to work with. So this is the team and we got 25k MT to work with to upgrade his team. But the rating at 10 starting lineups really good to be honest i feel like that bench is just not the best but i mean you got you got c francis Rocco, and porzingis jamal murray and demar Derozan are just a bit outdated and a bit out of place so i'm gonna give this team a solid 7.5 out of 10. the two improvements i would do is just just honestly fix this bench up if you get if you literally just get matisse Thybul, like if you just get matisse Thybul and sadiq bay i think you're looking really good but I'm probably going to recommend you go, yeah, Sadiq Bay, and then I think you're good. I think that's all you really need to make an improvement. That bench is just a lot, lot better now. You still have some offense. You have some defense. That bench just became a lot, lot better. This is now easily an 8 out of 10 team. Maybe a 7 point, like 8, but I'd say it's like an 8 out of 10 squad now. So thank you, Oopsie Daisies, for sending in your team. That's all you got to really do. Thank you uh, for sending your team. On to the next one. Next team here is from, is that Caillou? I don't know if that's exactly how you say it, but he sent me his team on Twitter. And he's got 10k MT to work with. Okay, so 10k MT. So this is his team. Um, rating at a 10. I don't really like the Serge Ibaka, Rafael Friends combo, but everything else is pretty, pretty good. So I'm going to give your team a 7.5 out of 10. Maybe an 8, but I'm just not the biggest fan of Serge Ibaka at the 4 and Rafael Friends. So what I'm going to do is get rid of both of these guys and move Josh Smith to the backup center. That's already, already a lot, lot better. We're going to move Rocco there. And then for starting, we're going to pick up Mikel Bridges. He is really, really good. I, I am a big, big fan of this Mikel Bridges card. And power forward, you could go a bunch of different ways, but with only 10k MT, I'm going to probably recommend you go Sadiq Bay. I think Sadiq Bay is really, really good. And I feel like your lineup is a lot, lot overall well-constructed. So thank you, um, Caillou, if that's how you say your name. Apologies if I'm saying it wrong, but thank you for sending your team on to the next one. Next team we got here is from Edgar, and he sent me his team on Twitter. And he, um, let me see. He said, put me in your video. Okay, so how much MT do you have? Is that 1.7 mil MT? Holy shit. Okay, you got a god squad here. Okay. So 1.7 mil MT, it looks to be to work with. Um, his team, his starting lineup is probably, it's not the best team in the game. I mean, if you had Dolph over KG and you had KD and you had Paul George over KD, I give you probably the best team in the game, best starting lineup in the game. But um, this is how you had it. So, I mean, this is probably more well-balanced, to be honest with you. Um, to be honest, I would probably do this. I would probably go KG off the bench and then go Dolph starting just to have a bit more size and then do this. Because um, I feel like Dolph and Mike and are like the same size and they're both kind of smaller. So I feel like having Dolph with D-Rob and then having Mike and in with KG gives you a little bit, a little bit more size. And I'm assuming you have Clyde for a reason, but I would definitely get rid of Clyde. Um, I would pick up Donovan Mitchell, but I know this guy's, you know, got a bunch of MT. Probably does not want to pick up a Donovan Mitchell. So for you, I'm probably going to recommend, probably going to recommend Jalen Brown. Um, Jalen Brown is really, really good. I feel like he's better than Clyde. I'm not a big fan of Clyde. Um, yeah, but I think your team had, oh, I didn't give you a rating out of 10. Um, before I added, so if you have Clyde there, I think this is a 9.5 out of 10. I don't think this is the best team in the game. It might be though. It possibly could be the best team in the game, but I'm going to have to give it a 9.5. It's very hard to get a 10 out of 10, but I'm going to give you a 9.5. So thank you, Edgar, for sending your team on to the next one. Next team here is from James Henney. I think it's how you say his name. It's just James Henney. Just call him James. James sent his team on Twitter, and he's got 200k MT to work with. Okay, so this is his team. we got to give a rating of 10. He did say he likes Gary Payton at the 2. I'm not a personally a big fan of that, but you know, he likes it. So he's good with it. That's cool. But other than that, like, I mean, you got a really good squad. Like, I mean, there's no player in here. I'm like, mm, that card's not very good. Boost solid. Curry solid. Those are probably your two weakest players in my opinion. In my opinion. Um, rating at 10. This is a solid 
5 out of 10. I think it's a very solid, very, very solid team. The only thing I would do is probably just get rid of Kawhi Leonard and get Mikel Bridges. Mikel Bridges is just, a, is just a better version of Kawhi Leonard, in my personal opinion. Other than that, if you, I mean, if you, if you do have 200k, I would probably upgrade that center position, and I would pick up George Mikan. Um, he's just a, a lot better than Porzingis. Um, other than that, I mean, 200k, you could do some other stuff as well, but I, th I think for now, you should probably just save some MT. Um, definitely should be starting AK, though, in my opinion. Um, definitely should be starting AK, so I would do something like that. That's probably what I would do. Um, but yeah, thank you, James, for sending your team on to the next one. Next team here is from Sands. Sands? Something like that. Um, let me see. Where is his team? So he sent his team on Twitter. He's got 15k MT to work with. Okay, so 15k MT is not a lot, but we can still do a good amount of stuff with that. Rating out of 10. Not gonna be not gonna lie, bro. This team needs a lot of work. I think it's a solid 6.5 out of 10. Like you got Josh Smith, you got Porzingis, you got LeBron, you got DeAndre Ayton, who's okay, you got Kobe, you got John Jim Murray. But like just having Dampier, Wiggins, Alonzo Mourning like it's just it's, it's an okay team like you could run this and be fine but i think you need a lot of work so the positions you need to improve what we're gonna do is Lonzo morning is gone i think you need to sell this lebron james and i think you need to sell this kobe Bryant. uh you can maybe keep kobe but the thing is i think you need to improve your team if you want lebron just get literally ruby lebron for your team lebron's not that much worse so that's always an option as well i would get rid of john aiden I'd pick up Sadiq Bay. So we're gonna go Sadiq Bay here. For your starting three, we're definitely gonna go uh, Mikel Bridges. So you probably can keep Kobe if you do want Kobe Bryant. You could definitely keep him. I'll let you keep him. But um, back a point card, you're definitely gonna get rid of Louis, Louis Dampier and you're gonna pick up Marcus Smart. He is so much better than Louis Dampier. Um, and then for backup shooting guard, you're probably gonna wanna go a Matisse Thibel. Oh, not two T's. You're probably gonna wanna go Matisse Thibel. Um, he's very, very solid. Now the only position we need upgrade still um, I'm not a big fan of John St. Murray, so I, I would recommend trying to get the Steve Francis card. I mean, it's really easy. You don't actually, you don't actually have to win 10 games in a row. You just have to win basically 10. And basically, you just have to win 10 overall if you do the glitch where if you're going to lose a game, just quit out. You won't get the loss, and you should be able to rack up 10 wins very easily. Um, so try to get Steve Francis if possible. If not, John St. Murray, John St. Murray you can keep. Now, the only position we need to upgrade is Andrew Wiggins. And there's a bunch of different ways you could go. And I think we're going to go put Sadiq Bay to the small forward and then pick up Rocco or Robert Covington for the backup four. So I think that team is a lot better. I said, what, it was like a 6.5 to start. This team is easily a 7.5 out of 10. It's a very, very, very solid budget team. Um, this is a team you can run with unlimited and have a very, very good chance of winning. Uh, but thank you, Sands, for sending your team on to the next one. Next team here is from Noah, and he sent me his team on Twitter. Do you see how much MT he has? He's got 90k MT. All right, perfect. So this is his team, 90k MT to work with. Very, very solid team. Again, once again, no card. I'm like, mm, not a very good card. They're all very solid. I'm gonna have to give this team a solid 8.5 out of 10. I think it's a very, very good team. He's got guys like Steve Francis, Gary Payton, Don Mitchell, Mikel Bridges, Josh Smith, George Mikan. The only fan, of, the only person I'm not a huge fan of is this Clyde Drexler. So what I'm gonna do is, if you want to make one big upgrade, if you sell Clyde. You should be be able to afford clay and clay is going to improve your team a lot i think if you pick up clay that's just going to like really take your team to the next level and you also have this is, this, this is my backcourt i run steve francis starting clay start clay starting and my backup point guard is gary payne and my backup shooting guard is uh, donovan mitchell and michael Brid michael bridges at the four so you got a sort of a team like mine so uh at least the backcourt is, is exact, exactly like mine so i think clay will help your team a lot it will like really improve your team like the difference between clyde and clay is massive in my opinion i think clay is the best card in the game so if you can sell clyde maybe save up some more mt and try to afford clay i think that will really really help your team compete at the highest level so thank you noah for sending your team on to the next one next team here is from boards 2k i think that's how you say his like name or whatever um he sent me his team on twitter and he didn't say how much MT he has, but we'll look in the top right. And he's got 20K MT to work with. So that's what, that's what we're going to do. He's got 20K MT to work with. This is his squad. And the starting lineup's not bad. And then you look at the bench and it gets a decent amount worse. So the rating out of 10 is going to be a 6.5, just or maybe even a 6, because that bench just, I mean, it's it's usable, but you're just not going to have a lot of success with it. So my, my, my main goal with the 20K MT is just the bench. So point guard, Marcus Smart. Right, Mark Smart's about 5k MT. He is really, really good. Backup small forward is going to be Matisse Stiebel. Oh, sorry, not Matisse Stiebel. It is going to be Mikel Bridges, another 5k MT. So that's 10k MT spent so far. 
The backup shooting guard is going to be Matisse Thibel. Um, Matisse Thibel is really, really good for his price. The backup four is going to be Sadiq Bey. Sadiq Bey and Matisse Thibel are about 2K MT combined, still about 1,000 MT together. And then instead of Jordan, Jordan we're going to pick up a Josh Smith. And that's another 10 KMT. So you spend about basically your budget, maybe a tiny bit over budget, but I think that's fine. Um, yeah, your starting lineup's not terrible. Like like your starting lineups, like your bench is low key better than your starting lineup overall. Uh, but, but your starting lineup's pretty good. You got C. Francis, Vince Carter, Crom Butler, Nicholas Batum, and, and Ray from France. Uh, so you can definitely get the team. The team went from like a six, maybe 6.5. So this is easily a 7.5, um, 7.5 out of 10 squad. It's a very, very good budget team. So thank you, Boards 2K, for sending your team on to the next one. Next team here is from MJ Castro, and he sent his team on Twitter, of course. Let me just find it real quick. Um, his team is right here. Okay, so he sent his team. Um, he may have sent his MT. No, he did not. Let me check the MT in the top right. So 370k MT to work with. Let's see what his team's looking like. Okay, so he's got C. Francis, Lou Dorp. Okay, a very, very solid team. There's no play in here. I'm like, mm. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of Lou Dorp, but I'm assuming you have him in there for a reason and you like him. Like with 370k, I mean, like, you can maybe upgrade that point guard position to like a, not like Isaiah Thomas, maybe. Um, he's definitely better than Marcus Smart. You could try to get Jaw next weekend if you don't have him ready. But other than that, man, I, I honestly think you should just keep your MT. I, unless you're trying to qualify, you're like really trying to grind showdowns here and you want to spend all your MT to have the best team in the game. Or not the best team in the game, but have a, like a way better team. Oh, Dibio's team are rating at 10. This is an 8.5 out of 10 team easily. Um, this is an 8.5 out, out of 10 team. But um, if you really want to compete in, a, in like qualifiers or something, you could pick up a better backup point guard. But other than that, like, I mean, your team is really, really solid. I would just hold on to the MT for now. I don't really need, I don't really see a need to sell, or sorry, to buy any players. Um, I honestly, like, I think your team's fine, bro. Like, I really do think your team's fine. Um, bro, that'd be crazy if you ran Kevin Garnett off the bench, because that's, you have three Hall, Hall of Fame interceptor players on one line. That would be crazy. Um, you could do that if you want to as well. That would be crazy. Um, but yeah, no, I think your team's really good, bro. I don't really think you need to do anything with that MT. Uh, thank you for sending your team, MJ Castro, on to the next one. The last and final team here is from Evan Heiler, and he sent his team on Twitter, and he has, do you see how much MT he has? He has 1.3 million MT. Okay, that's a lot of MT. Okay, so rating out of 10. Starting lineup's pretty, pretty solid. Again, not the biggest fan of Clyde Drexler, but he, Clyde Drexler, but he is solid. I'm assuming Batum is evo um, Jason Terry, I'm not the biggest fan of. But other than that, it's a very, very solid team. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. The only thing I would recommend with 1.3 mil is just get a better, better backup point guard. Um, you should be able to get Steve Francis. Uh, if you can't get Steve Francis, then, I mean, you should be able to get Steve Francis with this team. And then probably start Steve Francis. Actually, you, you could keep it like that, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, you have 1.3 million MT. If you want to spend some of it, you could replace like a Sadiq Bay. Also, I would do that. I think Roko's better at the four. Other than that, I mean, like you could look, up, you could look to get like a Paul George, a Kevin Durant. But I'm assuming you have, I'm assuming you have this much of a budget team because you don't want to spend your MT. So I'm just gonna assume that. Um, you can let me know in the DMs if you do want to spend like most of your MT. I can make you a really, really good squad. But I'm assuming you want to keep most of your MT. The one upgrade I'd probably recommend, as I told this other guy, is sell Clyde and get Clay. That's a massive, massive upgrade. You'll like Clay a lot, lot better. Clay is really solid. I think you'll make your team like way, way better. Um, but thank you for sending your team, Evan Heiler. And that is the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.